Incredibles 2. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cortland. Welcome back to Movie Reviews. We are here to review Incredibles 2. And I gotta say, it's definitely the sequel we've been waiting for. And one we absolutely needed. Unlike <clears throat> Cars 3, <clears throat> Cars 2. <clears throat> but anyways... So yeah, Incredibles 2. So it takes place literally right after Incredibles 1 ends. Where the Underminer comes out and starts attacking the city. And when you jump into Incredibles 2, you eventually learn that literally he's just there to rob a bank. Yeah. Alright. Obviously, based on the trailers, he wasn't the main focus, so that makes sense. But that's besides the point. Anyways. Incredibles 2 is probably going to be one of the best movies of this year and it immediately went to the top five Best Pixar movies of all time on my list. It's another hit by Pixar for sure So what did I think of it? Honestly, there's hardly any flaws to this there really isn't like the music is amazing the animation quality has risen tremendously since the 2004 Incredibles so the quality has escalated. The characters are amazing as they were in the first one. The family aspect is there again. And it's actually, I honestly think the family aspect in this movie is a, a lot more emotional. At least it was for me. But like the family stuff is there. It's great. It's awesome. Jack Jack finally gets his powers. Spoiler alert. <laughs> of course, we all knew that was going to happen. And... Yeah, Jack-Jack kind of steals the show in a lot of ways in this film. Definitely. He... <laughs> there, there's one scene in particular where he fights a freaking raccoon. It kind of feels out of place, but at the same time, it was just so freaking entertaining to watch. Like, my god. That was absolutely hilarious. And then, there's the villain. It's It doesn't live up to the level of what Syndrome was, however... The character has a unique backstory that it barely gets touched on, however, it gets touched on just enough to where you kind of feel like you know where the character is coming from and you can understand him. I'm not going to spoil who the villain in this movie is because I don't, this is just like a regular review, I'm not going to make this a spoiler review at all, but the villain is not as great as the first movie's villain, however, still a good portrayal of a villain. It's not a Marvel villain, that's for sure. But yeah, all I can really say is, like, without giving too much away, is that you should definitely go see this Pixar movie. If you're a huge fan of Pixar, a huge fan of Disney in general, and want to take your kids or your fr family, whatever it is, to go see a fun summer movie, this is the movie that you need to go see. Because honestly, it is way better than a lot of things I've seen recently. <laughs> Well, besides Infinity War, but... So, I'm giving this movie a 9.5 out of 10. That is my score for this movie. It is definitely a must-see in the theaters. You need to go see it. And if you enjoyed this review, make sure to leave a like. And also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos by me and other people on this channel. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay awesome. Hope you have an awesome day. Grr.